So the latest dip to around 50,000, that's about a 26% drop in the last 30 days-ish, right? And in May of this year, the price of Bitcoin fell 53% after Musk retracted his promise to accept Bitcoin as payment for Tesla. Uh, and of course, China launched yet another crackdown uh, on crypto, which is still ongoing. So from February to March of this year, I'm sorry, February to March of last year, during the, at the beginning of the coronavirus uh, lockdown, Bitcoin fell more than 50% right at the very early stages of the lockdown. But during the 12 months of 2018, uh, Bitcoin and the broader crypto markets plunged over 80% uh, from their um, all-time highs of around 19,700 or 19,800. And, uh, you know, I remember putting buy orders in around 3,000 or 3,500 in 2019. So will the price drop further or are we at the bottom of this dip? Obviously, nobody knows for sure. Um, and I'll give you kind of two perspectives on why I think it could go either way. And we're in this kind of tug of war going on right now. Um, and even with the drop, many analysts are standing by their, their predictions that, that Bitcoin will hit um, 100,000 next year. I actually think that we're not, we're not even close to the top. Uh, if, if you look at historically what's happened in the Bitcoin markets, right? If you're going to get a significant pullback after, the, after a top, like let's say we're going to fall 80%, that would basically cause us to fall like all the way down to the previous highs, right? And, and it just doesn't make sense. So in order for that, you know, 80% pullback to happen, if it was going to happen, I think we would really need to go up to like uh, almost 250,000 Bitcoin. And so I think 100,000 is not a foregone conclusion, but I do think it's highly likely to happen in, um, in the coming weeks. 